welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and today's video is going to be part of the cookbook collab that is always hosted by Tamara from Southern Wife Everyday Life. It's also going to be part of a playlist and I'll have that link down below in my description box for you to go check out. You just click on the playlist and you can go watch all the ladies that are participating in this cookbook collab and get all the recipes that your little heart can handle. But I'm going to be cooking from this comfort food crock pot cookbook that I found on eBay for right around five dollars and I'll have that link down below in my description box as well for you to go check out if you're interested. I'm going to flip through this cookbook really quick just to kind of give you a general idea of what's in it so that you'll know for sure if you're interested in buying it or not. going to be cooking a dinner and a dessert from this cookbook and I can't wait to share it with y'all so I guess we just need to get on into this video so I can share with y'all the dessert first because it took longer to cook and then my dinner that I chose out of this cookbook to cook for y'all so let's go y'all the dessert actually takes longer than the meal that I'm going to be making so I'm going to go ahead and put my small crock pot to go in with the dessert and it's going to be some cinnamon roll top mixed berry cobbler so all you'll need is a cup of sugar. You'll need two teaspoons of vanilla. And I could not find any of the quick cooking tapioca at my Walmart. So I Googled it and it said cornstarch will work just as good. And you'll need a fourth a cup of that. I'm gonna spray my crock pot with this before I mix all the ingredients in. You'll need a tube of cinnamon rolls. And it says in the recipe that you'll need two bags of the berry medley, but I'm only gonna do one just because my crock pot's small. You'll need one fourth cup of water also. So basically we're gonna dump everything in the crock pot, top with the cinnamon rolls and cook on low for about four to five hours. Okay, so y'all saw me dump in the little bag of mixed berries. Now we're gonna go in with our cup of sugar, then our 1 4th cup of water. And like I mentioned earlier, I couldn't find any tapioca at my Walmart, so I just opted to cornstarch and try not to make a mess like I did. We're just measuring out a fourth a cup of it also. And now we're just tossing in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I forgot to actually spray my pan, so you won't be needing this. Unless you don't forget like me. I got my crock pot on low and then I'm just gonna kinda mix everything up together. And then on top, we're just gonna throw on our cinnamon rolls. Also, I'm only gonna use four of my cinnamon rolls just because it's me and my three kids here today and I didn't need to use a whole roll. So what I'll do is I'll just drizzle on some of the icing and then what's left over, I'll cook for breakfast in the morning. Then I just popped the lid onto my crock pot and cooked it on low for four to five hours. And y'all, this was really good. If you like any kind of cobbler desserts, you will definitely love this one. And the cinnamon in the cinnamon rolls just tops everything off. And look how pretty it looks all plated up, y'all. This was definitely an easy go-to dessert. If you're needing something easy, you just pop it in the crock pot and you go on about your day.
Okay, y'all, so we're moving into the dinner portion of the video now. And even if you don't want to buy this cookbook, I hope you will try this recipe because this recipe was so delicious, y'all. We had no leftovers. The crock pot was all cleaned out for me. But all you'll need is about eight ounces of some kind of sausage. And I've got pork sausage, but you can also use turkey sausage or, you know, whatever kind of sausage you prefer or any ground, you know, meat. You could probably even use ground beef if you wanted to. But you'll also need a half a cup of minced onion. You'll need one and a half cups of marinara sauce and I'm pretty sure you could probably use some spaghetti sauce if you wanted. You'll need one can of Italian style diced tomatoes, two packages of the meatless ravioli, and you'll need two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese and then Italian parsley if you like. So right here I'm just browning up my sausage and I added in my minced onion while I was browning up my sausage. And right here, I'm showing y'all this really cool trick that I have developed over time. I just wrap some tinfoil around a bowl. I place my strainer on top of that tinfoil and I just drain out all the grease like that. And then you just easily roll up the tinfoil and you throw it away. No mess, no problem. So once I got the grease strained off my sausage, I'm going to add in my marinara sauce. And I just had a little bit of that left over. So I'm just going to dump that in there just to use it up. And then I had some spaghetti sauce right here that I just poured in there and mixed it all up really well. And I almost forgot to add in my can of diced tomatoes, but you definitely want to add those in there with your marinara sauce and your ground up sausage. So I definitely learned my lesson about not spraying the crock pot before you add in your mixture with the dessert. So I definitely made sure I sprayed the crock pot with this one. And then I'm just drizzling in some of my spaghetti slash marinara sauce. That'll just help keep the raviolis from like being dry whenever they're done. And then I'll top with some ravioli. And then I'm going to go in with some of my mozzarella cheese. And I also have like the mozzarella provolone cheese just because we really like provolone cheese with ours. And then I'll go in with like the ground sausage, spaghetti sauce, tomato mixture. And then I'll just keep repeating those steps until I use everything up. Then lastly, I just sprinkled on some of the Italian parsley and then I popped the lid on there and you cook this on low for two and a half to three hours or high for one and a half hours to two hours. So I cooked mine on high just because I was ready to eat. So it only took me about two hours to cook this. And this is how it looks whenever I took the lid off the crock pot after two hours. Y'all, you definitely got to try this recipe. I promise you, you will not regret it. It is so darn delicious. And then to go with ours, I just baked some of the Great Value 3 Cheese Texas Toast. My kids like to have toast with their anything like spaghetti sauce mixture. They just like to dip the toast in that sauce. So I made sure I made some toast for them on that night. But y'all, look how pretty this comes out of that crock pot. I wish it had like a lot of cheese on top, but the cheese kind of wanted to melt off the top whenever I was plating it up. But it still looks really delicious. that's it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave me a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already because i would really love for you to join my youtube family thank you all so very much for watching today and i will catch you all in the very next one bye y'all